Hi, it's Pekka from Rockbullet and over here we have Mega Max. So we have been building this machine in some videos. So first it was welding and then assembly and now we have her over here in the forest. And for you guys who don't know what is Mega Max, so Mega Max is big mini mini forestry for water. See still mini is nothing with like compared to those huge machines. It's mini, but anyway, it's a it's a really little bigger machine. So what we have over here, technology, technology. So over here we have 54 kilowatt diesel engine. Yes, that is strong one, but that is like the it's the latest emission regulations. It has after treatment box, but no your area. So in, over here in the north we have huge problem with that liquid. So uh, we have like freezing temperature. And then when we have urea, it freezes down and then it breaks down and we have huge problem. So that's why we have the biggest engine over here. It has a like intercooler, everything nice over there, but no urea. So the best engine for this use. And then we have over here drive system. It's hydrostatic drive. So we have eight this kind of engines over here, drive motors. And when you push pressure over here, it rotates. And then when there is no pressure, there is a handbrake over here. So four handbrakes over here. And actually double system, two systems. So I have double pump, pump over here, double hydrostatic drive. So front section and rear section, those have independent pumps. That is nice because if you are like in the slippery or like with empty or something like that, then like even like the rear is in the ice, front still have uh, traction, it still goes. You don't notice anything. That is something nice. And then what we have over here. So, okay, one thing over here. This is like the gold area. It's attached over here with four parts. So you can take this away. That is something nice because if you want to have different style or you want to use her without like the load area, that is possible. And it also like the how it's designed, you might notice that it's made for the forest. So if you look the shape, it's a odd idea is all the time that like there is stumps and other nasty stuff in the forest that it should go over there. And one thing you might at the moment actually notice over here, no support legs, no legs, no problem. So there is, we have center lock over here. We have double cylinders, one, two cylinders, and this kind of valve over here. So what is idea over here? So it's like when you take the crane to the side, so rear area wants to tip over here. But then when we have like, so, this, this part over here is connected to this, the rear, rear frame, and it wants to come over here, and this is connected to the front section. And over here is cylinder, so when this is locked, everything comes together. So then we can use the weight of the front section also for the counterweight. That is something nice. And, okay, the crane is nice, there is extension, it's a bigger crane. That should be enough for this kind of machine. And we have like the control system is again, it's from the Usabolt. So this mini levers screen. And at the moment, actually why I'm over here, I'm testing. So I have over here, for example, pressure couch. That is for the drive. So. My idea is that when I use the machine, I can now see how the pressure is building up. So, okay, I think you want to see more action, less talking. So let's take here, over there. I think we might even take some wood in the, over there. First drive a little bit, take wood and see how she operates. Let's go. For time efficiency, I will use these woods from our yard because I don't actually have any need. I don't have at the moment like need for the bigger amount of the trees. So this time I will not cut anything. So I will just take these over there and then we can see how she reacts.
now it looks like that we are in the problem, we are not. The thing was what happened was that I did start to load and I did know, notice that like the rear section start to tease, so it don't work correct, the frame lock. I did know that actually beforehand I should have filled those with hydro hydraulic oil, so it's a problem that you don't get like the oil because it's, there's an air lock in the cylinder and so I decided I have to do this kind of st stuff that I take the grain to the side and then I drive other side over something so actually we can see it better from the other side. This is my life, I'm not like, I'm not angry, I'm not nothing at the moment, it's just like this is my, this is normal work for me. But anyway, okay so now we, we did drive that up and now we can see that the like center lock is a little like it's a, it comes inside and we can actually one thing we can also see more that there is an enough like the tilting area so the cylinders don't stop too soon so it could come even more and in a normal situation this would be already too much to like to like the front and rear frame would be like this and also other hoses are okay so this was good test. Next, I, I, I think I have to do this few times now to get all the air away and then we can test for the loading. So let's continue. I don't know is that good for the brand or bad, but I don't care. I can tell hands up for the mistake. So I was loading and then I have like all the time the problems and like the I have over here as a pressure couch over here in the uh, frame lock and I was like looking at that why nothing is happening actually so it should happen something that like when I take the load there should be more pressure it cannot be any more air so I was like pumping it a long time and making that and then I was like testing if the valve is working and like everything like I was thinking like did I make a mistake then I was thinking that true and then at the end I did actually realize I was hand up for the stupidity. Yeah. So over here, so this is like the this is like there is more fluid over here and there's there is less over there. And for some reason some brain fart I had. So I have like the like the bigger ends together in one hose and the smaller. So of course it can go freely. It don't like do anything but now it's working and the nice thing over actually here is that I, I wasn't sure that was I smart enough when I was doing it and I was so the thing on, over here actually is that like now when you are like parking I will have nicer but over here the brake then we have center lock so it's always always when you are like you want to load press one button then two things happen at the same time you get the uh, break, uh, uh, hand brake and also center lock activated with one button. That is super nice. But anyway, hey, I think I will now take the load and let's continue the life. People did ask me, what about if there is no super tracks and it's empty? So no load. How how is the loading? So. That is kind of full grapple of stuff. It's normal uh, like distance, no no extension at the moment. But anyway, it, you can notice that you can like in the forest, I think you can take also the first load without counter weight. That's nice.
the problem with videos is that it never looks nothing. It always looks like it's like flat. But actually what I'm over here, I decided this I did also make the with super bullet actually the same spot because this is a very good spot in our forest. You can see that okay there is our road and then this kind of like it's like out. So this this is already here, this and then we come down over here. So this is good testing spot. I did actually drive with Seria drive, so with the fast gear. And it was like high, the pressure was super high, so it was in the limit. Of course the load is not full, but anyway it's like with the slow gear it can go insanely high. And even with that like with fast gear it comes nicely, so I was because I think that forest machines should be built for the forest. That is, so it's not like uh, you are using those in the forest, you are driving slow and it has to be powerful over there because there's stumps and that kind of stuff. So this is, with that engine output, this machine is crazy. It's like, it, 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 it does so much. It's like, and it's, it's looking nice, the nice thing. And I think like if you look, it's, it's, it's looking good. It's like valve and that kind of stuff are protected and like, and also frame lock is working. It's super nice because I don't know, at the moment there is actually parking brake. So we are in the hill with the load and it stays. That's good. Hey, I think this is like the first test drive for this machine. So. If you did like the video, please give thumb up and see you in the next video. Thanks and bye.